Hey guys, it's Gracie. So I'm doing the Pride Flag book tag, which was created by Common Spence, and he's so awesome. I love his channel. He's so, like, funny and really, like, I don't know how excited about making content. You should check out his video. I will link it down below. He actually goes into the history of the Pride Flag, and it was really cool like there was like some cool graphic design concepts that he did and I loved it It was so cool. So literally go check that out. And it's, it's so cool <laughs> so basically each question of this tag like It pop goes with each color on the pride flag um, so and like they're each of their meanings so just so you know, I have none of these books with me at the moment. They are all packed, so you will just be getting pictures on the screen today. So, the first question is red, which is stands for life. A book with a spirited protagonist totally proud of who they are. Someone who gives you life. Patrick from Perks of Being a Wallflower. I, first of all, I love that book. That book is so good. I love the movie. Highly recommend both of them. I just, I'm in love with both of them. Um, but Patrick is gay and I love him. He is amazing. <laughs> he is, he's very proud of being gay and he is very open to like talking about it and he goes into, he's not the main character, he's the main character Charlie's one of his best friends. Um, but he's very open to talking about it and he kind of delves into like, the happy parts of being gay and like the hard things that he has to deal with and with his relationship and I love him he's so like proud of who he is and he doesn't really care who knows and I just I really love him orange means healing and the question for that is a book that made you as a reader find a deeper meaning or catharsis in your own life so that is they both die at the end by Adam Silvera I love this book so much. It fe it features or it focuses on these two boys, Mateo and Rufus, who both are alerted that by this company called Deathcast that they will die within the next 24 hours. So they meet on this last friend app um and spend their last day together and Mateo I honest, I think Mateo is bi and Rufus is gay, if I remember correctly. I think so. <laughs> um, but I love them. That book really delves into like what it means to die and like what the like living your life to the fullest and it deals with like some grief and different things like that. And I just I really love that book and it definitely made me think about like my own life and how I could do things differently or like what I wanted to do with my life before I died so that's one of my favorite like probably my favorite maybe LGBT book I don't know I really love that one yellow which means sunshine is a book that fills you with so much joy it could brighten even your darkest day and for that one, I love this book so much. I'm actually reading it right now and it's over there, but I'm not gonna go get it. <laughs> and it is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. So, this book is a book, well, I read it and I'm reading it right now as a reread and I love it so much. Um, it's a book about these seven teenagers at the same high school who each represent a seven, one of the seven deadly sins, um, like if lust, greed, gluttony, pride, wrath, envy. Okay, I got them all, all seven. <laughs> um, and it basically follows these, this group of people as they kind of like cross paths and become interwoven into each other's lives when they find out that a teacher and a student at their school are in a relationship and like in a romantic relationship. There's drama with that but it's a lot more than that. It's really about like acceptance and a lot of drama that other than that and I really love it. There's a 
pansexual main character and an asexual main character. The asexual main character does not like write outly state that he's asexual, but the author did confer confirm that he is. So I, I love him. I love all of them. I love both of the pansexual and the asexual main character. I just, they're great. Um, but this book was one of my first, like, LGBT books that I was like, oh my god. Like, I loved it so much. I felt really connected to everybody in that book. Um, I felt like I learned a lot from that book. And it just, like, it makes me happy to think about it because it's, like, the romance. There's a few romances in it, like, romantic relationships. But they're all so cute. And I just, they, it just makes me happy. And I highly recommend it because... For like LGBT books, I feel like it's not very like well known. So that's sad because I really enjoy it. But yeah. Green, well green means nature. A book that is set out of this world, a reality different to our own. So I couldn't really think of one right away and then I was like, oh, pff, Gracie, come on. And that is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Seanan McGuire. So if you haven't heard of the Wayward Children series, it's like a series of novellas, honestly. They're, they're so tiny. <laughs> Um, about these kids who find doors into other lands and somehow get kicked out or find their way out back on regular earth and have to deal with like the traumatization of like not being where they feel like they belong anymore and the first book is Every Heart a Doorway and the second book is Down Among the Sticks and Bones which be which focuses on the two twins that are um, in the first book, Jack and Jill, and how they're, like, the door and the world they found, how they dealt with, like, what happened there, I guess, and, um, the one character, I can't remember which one's which, and it's really killing me, I think it might be Jack, maybe it's Jill, I think it might, maybe Jill, um, I, I can't remember which one's which, and I feel bad about that, because I really love that book, but, um, one of them is bisexual, and I just, like, I love her, because she's so, like, like, she, there's actually a lot of LGBTQIAP plus characters in that series, and I love it so much, it's so good, but she's so, like, normal about it, like, she's not super over the top and doesn't, like, like, the way Shawnee McGuire writes LGBT characters is she just, like, normalizes it, like, I saw a video, um, discuss saying the normalization of queerness in literature. I will link that video because it is so good and she deserves so many more subscribers. Um, but they're playing Fortnite. It's so good. I love the relationship she has with the girl, with a girl in that like world. And it's just so cute and so like, it's so normalized that I really just was like so happy reading that that like there's only three books right now but there's gonna be a lot and I'm just like I love it so much. Blue which means peace is a book where one of the characters finds peace with a difficult truth. I decided to go with none of the above by something somebody I can't remember their name it's like some there's two letters and then Gregorio. So in this <clears throat> the main character she finds out that she's intersex and if you don't know what that means um <clears throat> she finds out that she was born with like um different chromosomes than the average female is born with where she actually has testicles inside of her and her um genitals aren't how they would be if she was born with the same chromosomes um as a like um typical female is um so she has to deal with that and somehow her whole school finds out and while she's dealing with it, trying to deal with it, she is being bullied and she really has to like reevaluate who she is and how she wants to like live her life and how who she wants to be friends with and who really deserves to be her friend. Um, and she kind of slowly starts to find peace with it. She has a really hard time at first, um, but she slowly finds peace. I don't think I could say that she's found complete peace by the end of the book, but I mean, she's on her way there, and um, 
it's still a journey that you go on with the character. That book has really good themes that I really loved reading about, but I just didn't think the writing was super good. But definitely, if you want to read intersex um, representation, check that book out. The last question is purple, which means spirit. And the question was a book that deals with LGBT plus themes and religion, but I have not read a book like that. I know everyone that did this tag was recommending autobiography, but I haven't read that book and I don't really want to talk about a book that I haven't read. So I decided to change up the question, and I hope that's okay, um, to um, LGBT plus characters that I really relate to and because I feel like spirit like kind of goes with like who you are as a person as well. I've never really related completely to a character because it's just not, I just haven't, um, which kind of sucks. Um, but from what I really have related to the most is Lucas from Seven Ways We Lie who is pansexual. Um, he, I'm not pansexual, I identify as bisexual, but I actually really don't like care about anyone's gender. So I, I don't know what I identify as, like the word I wanna use, but I don't know. <laughs> Lucas is, hasn't really like formally come out to anybody really, um, but he doesn't really care. Like if it comes up, he just goes, yeah, I'm pan. And then people are kind of like, what does that mean? But he'll explain it he doesn't really care what people think but he's not going to be over like like announcing it a lot which is kind of how i deal with my sexuality some people will say something they'll be like that's gay and i'm like that's offensive and they'll be like what are you gay and i'm like no I'm bye thank you very much that's happened many times and i love it i love arguing <laughs> and i think that's all i have to say today if you want to do this tag definitely do this tag i'm not going to tag anybody um but like i feel like a lot of people or like everyone on booktube should do this because it is such a good tag and thank you comments friends you're literally that's awesome like that you made this tag i love it <laughs> thank you for watching bye